Buffer solutions are capable of maintaining its pH within a certain range, even if a strong acid or base is added. It is made by mixing a certain amount of a weak acid and its conjugate base and dissolving them in water. For instance, to prepare an acetic acid buffer, we should dissolve in water acetic acid and sodium acetate. The range where buffer solutions work best is always close to the pKa value of the weak acid used. So the acetic acid buffer will be effective maintaining pH values close to 4.76, which is the pKa value for this acid. The question is, what is the amount of acetic acid and sodium acetate that should be added to make the buffer, let's say, with a pH of 5. We will start with the equilibrium equation for an acid dissociation reaction. From this equation, we will solve for the concentration of H+. Then, we take the negative logarithm of both sides. To the right, we have the negative logarithm of the acid divided by the base. This is equal to the positive logarithm of the inverse ratio. Now, we have in the equation the negative logarithm of the H plus concentration and the Ka. These values are equal to the pH and pKa respectively, so we substitute that in the equation. This is called the henderson hasselbach equation and it is very useful since it relates the pH of a solution to the concentration of acid, conjugate base and the pKa. So, in order to know the amounts of acetic acid and sodium acetate to make a buffer solution, pH 5, we only need to input the values in the formula. The pH we want is 5, and the pKa of acetic acid is 4.76. Then we solve for the ratio of acetate and acetic acid. The result is that the ratio is equal to 1.73. This means that for each mole of acetic acid, we need to add 1.73 moles of sodium acetate. As long as this proportion is correct, the buffer solution will have a pH equal to 5.